Python is not the only tool you can use for automation. I'm about to create a CSV file splitter in Node.js. Let's have a look at what we're doing. So I'm already in VS Code. I'm already in the working directory I want to be in, just the folder by the name of Node File Splitter. And this is the file I want to split up. It's just a CSV file. It has 21 lines in it, the first line being a header line. But what if this file was 100,000 lines? What if it was 50 million lines, 100 million lines, and you had to break this up into smaller chunks? It would take an extraordinarily long amount of time to break this up manually. So this is why we're gonna do it programmatically with Node.js. So what I wanna do first is create a file called app.js. And inside here, we're gonna use the help of two Node packages. One's called FS, and what that is is a file system. It allows Node to access a file system of our computer, say the desktop, documents, wherever it may be. We can define that uh, in the code. Now also, we're gonna use a, um, a node package called CSV parser, which is going to allow us to parse CSV files. So let's go ahead and say const fs equal to, we'll say require, just like that, fs. And then we're gonna const, we'll call this CSV equal to require, and we'll say CSV dash parser. It's going to give us a little bit of space. So what I need to do first is create a few variables. One's, the first one's gonna be the input file path. So I'm gonna say const, input file equal to an empty string. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy path here because this is the file I wanna be splitting. Now, if you're gonna run this on another file on your machine, you would just copy that path and paste it in there like so. Next, we're gonna need an output folder. So I'm gonna say const output folder, just like that, equal to, I'm just gonna call this output folder. You can call this whatever you like. The next we'll say const rows per file. So these are the basically the dynamic values that, that you can set. Um, so for the first one being the file path, next one being the folder name that you want to output to. And this is what we're going to create. This is the folder that we're going to create. So you can name it whatever you want. And then the rows per file. Do you want five rows per file? Do you want 100 rows per file? A million rows, so on and so forth. So next, let's create our function here. So I'm going to say const type here, const C, or we'll say call it split. CSV, just like so, we're gonna pass in a few things. And what we're passing in are actually our variables that we just created. So we'll say input file, just like so, our output folder, and then also our rows per file. So what we want to do next is use this FS node package. And what we wanna do is check to see, does this output folder already exist? And if not, we're gonna go ahead and create that folder with nodes. So what we're gonna say, we'll say if this does not exist, we'll say fs.exists, sync and i'm going to put a link to this documentation it has all sorts of, of docs you can you can uh, read over so we'll say we'll say output folder just like so so if this does not exist we'll say fs.make dir sync output folder just like so next we're going to define a few more things we're going to have a file number so we'll say let file number by default it's going to be one We'll say let row count by default is going to be set to zero. We'll say let is first file set to true. There we go. And then we'll say let output CSV equal to null by default. Let's go ahead and save. Next, we're going to read our input file. So we're going to read the initial CSV file. So what we're going to say, I'm going to give a little bit of space. We're going to say FS accessing the file system in node uh, package that we imported dot create read stream, just like so. We're gonna pass in our input file, okay? Then we're gonna say dot pipe CSV, okay? Dot on data, and we're passing in the row. Then we'll say if row count is equal to zero, const output file equal to, we're use a uh, template literal here, so use the back ticks. We'll say output folder. So this is gonna be a number here, right? The output folder number. And we'll say slash, slash output underscore our file number dot CSV. And then we'll say output CSV equal to FS dot create write stream. So we're actually gonna be writing into here our output output file, we'll say flags A, just like so. This is all in the documentation. Then what we're gonna say is, is first file, we'll say output CSV dot write, we'll say object, object dot keys row dot join, and we're gonna say plus, 
a new line. New line. And this here, move that over there. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to set is first file. We're going to set that back to false. By default, it is set to true. Next, we're going to have some space down here. We actually write our file. So what we're going to say is output CSV dot write, and we're going to write the object dot values, we're writing the row dot join was new. And then we'll increment our row count, row count plus plus. Let's go ahead and save. Very nice. Now we'll say if row count equal to rows per file, there we go. We'll say, we'll say row count equal to zero file number. We want to increment and then we'll say output CSV dot end. And let's go ahead and save. Next, we're going to say dot on and we'll say end. We're going to have a callback function here. We'll say if output CSV is true, we'll say output CSV dot end. And then let's go ahead and console dot log. We'll say CSV splitting complete. Next, we need to actually call this function up here. So our split CSV file. So we'll go ahead and call this down here. We'll say split CSV. And what all we pass into it, our input file, output folder, and the rows per file. Let's go ahead and save. Now let's try and run this and see what happens. We'll say node app.js, CSV file splitting complete. Let's open this up and see what it did what we want. So it created this output folder using the make dir. Where are we at here? Using the make dir. There we go, our make dir directory here. So it created our folder. Next, it created our files. And look at this, created our files here. The first one being our header file. We can go ahead and delete that, our header line rather. So we have five here, five, 10, five there, totaling 10, five more to 15, and 20. Isn't that awesome, you guys? Hit smash the like button if you feel like you're getting some value. Let's go ahead and delete that folder. And since we made it dynamic, let's go ahead and say, what if this was, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's copy this down here. So I'm gonna copy it down a few times. I'm going to the top. I'm gonna copy this down a few times. So let's say this thing is 3000. Let's say this thing is 3,500 lines. Something that's a little bit more believable, right? And we wanna break this up into 3,500, we'll say, we'll say 100 lines, we'll say 100 lines. So let's go ahead and run this here. So I'm gonna run it again. We'll say node app.js, give it just a minute, create our output folder. Well, look at that, there you go. So 100, there you have it. Uh, of course, the values are all random because I just copied and pasted them down. The next one as well, 100 lines, all the way up, look at 36, 36 files with the last one only being 20. I'm not sure on the math, I'd have to sit here and calculate it. But you guys, that as well, how we create a CSV file splitter in Node.js, proving again, Python is not the only tool we can use for automation. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you on the next one.